Welcome everybody, this is GP Notebook TV and my name is Julie Oliver. I work as a general practitioner in County Durham and today I'm going to talk you through a uh, meta-analysis by a Canadian team and um, as life is getting much more back to normal now we're back onto our medication reviews and we've been doing the usual work looking at medications particularly in our elderly and of course looking at deprescribing medications with one of the views that some of these medications increase your risk of falling so today's question is does reducing this medication decrease your risk of falls and this is what the Canadian team looked at so they trawled through the literature and they found five studies that had enough information in a randomised control trial and was of good enough quality to put into their meta-analysis. And rather disappointingly, they only had enough data from 1,300 patients. So it was quite small numbers. And what they looked at was they compared standard care for medication um, against looking at de-prescribing some of these fall-inducing drugs. And you know the drugs that we're always looking at reducing. So our antihypertensives, our antiarrhythmics, our antihistamines, anticholinergics, opiates, NSAIDs, all that sort of medication. And what they looked at was, um, did the effect of reducing these drugs reduce the number of falls that happened to this over 65-year-old population? And rather disappointingly, uh, there was no evidence or poor evidence that it made any difference whatsoever. So, uh, so far, what they did say was by looking at that and by decommissioning medications, there was no effect on the number of falls compared with the standard group. And this is really disappointing because we're working really hard, aren't we, on the proviso that stopping these drugs can reduce falls. But you have to remember that falls are multifactorial and it doesn't mean that the work we're doing isn't of value because remember, deprescribing and polypharmacy in the elderly is still going to be causing um, cognitive side effects and um, other medication side effects that go along with this group. So, um, but when it comes to an evidence-based approach, so far um, there is very little good quality evidence out there that suggests that by purely decommissioning drugs, we're going to reduce the rate of falls. So rather disappointing this week, sorry, but that doesn't mean it doesn't mean we're not doing good work out there by reducing some of these medications. And so keep on all your hard work out there. Uh, and there's more videos to come. Links below to this research if you want to look into it into any more details.